All right, guys, on today's video, I'm going to show you how I make pemmican. Now, pemmican is the original and, in my opinion, still best survival food, energy bar, whatever you want to call it. This is the stuff that when I go out in the field, hiking, hunting, backcountry excursions, I take this with me. It's super calorie dense. The ingredients are very simple and it's super easy to make. So let's jump in. So the ingredients that you're gonna need for pemmican are very, very simple. In its most basic form, it's just fat and meat. Today, I'm gonna add nuts and berries to it. And so you can kind of play around with the recipes and make it however you like. Now, in order to make pemmican, you're gonna have to have a fat that's solid at room temperature so that it sets up and forms a bar. And you can actually carry the stuff around. And so things like pork fat or lard are just not going to work very well because they're just too soft. What I'm going to be using today is just beef tallow. Now beef tallow isn't something that you can just normally go to the grocery store and find on the shelf, but if you go and talk to the butcher, oftentimes you can get it for very, very cheap. So the first thing we've got to do is render out our fat. There's a couple of ways that we can do this. Uh, what I'm going to do is just cut this fat into strips, run it through a grinder, and then I'm going to put it in a crock pot. As a super simple way to render tallow. Now you don't have to run this through the grinder. This is just going to make the bits a little bit smaller. It's going to make the rendering a little bit more efficient. You can, if you don't have a grinder or you don't want to go through that process, you can just cut it up into squares and just go straight into the crock pot just like I'm doing here. All right, so for the meat, I'm gonna be using elk burger. Getting uh, burgers spread out on dehydrator trays is a little bit of a kind of a rodeo, but if you put it between a couple of pieces of wax paper, you can get it spread out pretty consistently so that it dries evenly. So I crank this dehydrator up as high as it'll go on this machine, it's 155. And we're going to dry this meat down as low as we can get it so that when we take it off of here, it's crumbly. Now if you're using burger, it's gonna crumble very easily once it's dry. If you are using sliced meat, the, the right dryness is when you could take that meat and just break it. If it bends and doesn't break, it's not dry enough. You need to put it back on here and dry it down until that stuff snaps. You want a very, very dry meat before you move on to the next step. All right, so the tallow has been rendering. I just let it go overnight. Uh, set it on the crock pot for on low for 10 hours. Um, got a lot of oil in here. So what I'm gonna do is just go ahead and strain this. I've got a colander here, a little bit of cheesecloth. We'll put it in here and it's still fairly hot um, so I'm gonna dip some of this out before I go to pour in this thing but I'm gonna eventually pour all of that in there and just let it strain out through that uh, screw up through all of the, the membrane and cracklings and stuff that's left So this is way more than I'm gonna need for this recipe. So I'm gonna use what I need and then the rest of it, I just put into jars and it'll solidify, it'll turn white. And that stuff has a indefinite shelf life. Um, you just put it in jars, you don't have to refrigerate it. You just put it in a cool, dry place and it'll be there next time you wanna make some pemmican. Thank you. 
going to uh, blend up into a really nice fluffy meat powder. Meat powder. Why did you do that? The only two necessary ingredients for pemmican are fat and dried meat, but you can also add other stuff. I'm going to add some fruit and also some pecans. Uh, you could add almond flour, uh, ground up um, sunflower seeds, anything you like. Uh, I happen to like pecans. Um, and then the fruit I'm doing is dried blueberries and dried dates. The problem that you're going to run into with the dried fruit is when you put them in your blender or your food processor, they are going to turn into a gum and you're just not going to be able to get them ground up. Now, there's two ways to get around that. One is you can freeze dry them and then they'll grind up into a powder and be perfect. Or you can stick them in the freezer and then uh, put them in the blender or food processor while they're frozen and that'll get them chopped up good enough for our purposes. See how gummy this this fruit gets. So if you want the longest shelf life for your pemmican that you can get, you're gonna to want to put this. Uh, this tallow back on some heat after you strain out all of the little solid bits just to make sure there's no moisture in it and the way you tell that there's no moisture in it is when there's no bubbles coming from the bottom those bubbles that you see coming up in this oil here that is moisture coming out of this grease uh, so we're gonna let it just put it on low heat we're gonna let it cook until there's no more uh, of those bubbles coming up and then it's gonna be completely moisture free and that's going to give you a, a very very long shelf life on this stuff all right so we've got all of our ingredients ground up powdered as good as we can we've got the meat powder here got some dried pecans ground up blended up and then we've got our mixture of blueberries and dates you put whatever fruit you want in here just make sure that you can get it ground up into a really fine uh, granular texture like this so what i'm going to do now is just uh, by volume i'm going to mix approximately equal parts of meat powder uh, nuts and fruit so I'm gonna dump my meat powder in there go ahead and throw the pecans in there and then I've got quite a bit of fruit here I don't need all of this I'm gonna use I don't know maybe half of this or so just kind of crumble that in there now we're just gonna mix this up really well. If you got any big clumps of fruit or anything that like to stick together, you can just kind of break those up as good as you can. If you use freeze-dried fruit, it's not bad to do that. It, it, uh, it kind of turns into a powder like the meat does. So I've got, uh, my fruit is kind of clumping up a little bit. It's the blueberries in there that were dehydrated. Um, I'm going to just 
throw this back in the blender just for a second, just to kind of break those clumps up a little bit. So I'm gonna add a little bit of salt. And then once we get this mixed up with the fat, we can salt it to taste. All right, so we have got everything mixed up. All of our dry ingredients are here. It's a nice, smooth consistency. I've got my beef tallow here. It's melted, it's kind of warm. I'm just gonna start adding this beef tallow to this stuff until I've got it to a consistency where I can pack it and it's just gonna try to hold together. So we're just gonna start slowly adding this to our pemmican and mixing this stuff up. And your dry ingredients are just gonna soak up that fat And that's kind of the consistency I like. If you shake it like that, it's gonna settle down on your hand. And when this beef tallow sets up, that's gonna make a nice, firm, protein, carb, fat, rich, delicious bar of pemmican. So I'm just gonna give this a quick little taste. See what the salt situation is. This is done. We just need to find a little tray. We're gonna pack it in there, stick it in the fridge till it hardens up. Then we'll bring it out and slice it in bars. Pop that in the pop that in the fridge for a couple hours. It's gonna solidify. We'll take it out, bake bars. Then go hiking. All right. So just took the pemmican out of the fridge. I actually did two batches. For this little one, I added some honey. I've never done that before, so let's see how that turns out. So when you're cutting this stuff, take into consideration that this is a very, very calorie dense food, so you don't need a lot of it. Like one of these squares is basically, that's what I take for all day. I don't know how many calories are in this thing, but you can, you know, think about with all of the fat that we put in there with the nuts, uh, the berries, the sugars and the berries and the, uh, for the carbs. And then of course for this batch, I need to keep this separate actually. I added a little bit of honey. So I'm excited about trying, uh, giving this a taste and seeing how that uh, tastes compared to this. But this is the stuff that, um, that we made that you saw me make. It's got no, uh, no honey or sweeteners other than the, uh, the berries in it. Got just a, a hint of sweetness, just a little bit of saltiness. Um, I like it. I like pemmican. Some people don't like it. They don't like the texture of it. They don't like the, the fat. Um, I guess it's just personal preference. As far as a practical um, survival food or energy food for if you're out on the trail or hiking a lot, this stuff is great. Um, it's compact. It is, like I said, super high calorie. Um, whether you like it or not, it's just gonna be up to you, personal preference. Let's give this stuff with the honey a taste and see what it uh, tastes like. That's good, I like that. All right, so what I like to do to package this stuff up to carry with me when I'm out, in the field is just take some wax paper and I wrap it up just like I would uh, a package of meat. All right guys, so I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, make some pemmican and throw it in your pack this fall. When you're out there hiking hard, burning a lot of calories, you're gonna be glad you have it. So with that, 
good luck this fall, and we'll see you next time.